Hiya folks, bang on time, four o'clock, a little bit later than normal, two hours to be exact. I'll just open up the chat window, let's see what we're doing here at the moment. Me and Sharon are ready and raring, raring to go. <laughs> let's just open up the window, just get you uh, all talking at the moment. There's me email to say that we've gone live. And let's turn that over to live chat. Brendan Brady's fan, hiya buddy, first one in the house. Mick's Moses is straight there, nice one Mick. Theo Northover, hiya Martin, Chris Walters. Uh, I think we've got something from you a little bit later on, Chris, in the show. Um, you did send me some pictures of something. I think you did. It might be you. I'm not sure. Let me just have a little check here. Let's have a little look here. I've got the uh, schedule down here. If I have, I have. If not, I just remember seeing you on... Well, did you send me an email today? It might have been that, actually. And I might have put something in the list for a future show. Anyway, Marky Mark, hiya there. Pete Froud. Jason Hughes is there, Rasmo again. Uh, yeah, we're a bit late today, some of you. You obviously know that because you're here straight away. <laughs> and it's shower. Yeah, they beat me. They, again, they beat you. You're on there now, baby. I've just got on just this minute. Yeah. I'm sorry, now they Scrap go. Metal Junkie, how are you, bud? Your name's assuming past there at the moment. Gary R, Andy V. Oh, yeah, it was that, Chris. Okay, buddy, nice one. Stephen Petty, Stylist uh, from Central London. Mr. Wandering Agus is there. Mark Bowles. Uh, Daz, JJ, nice to see you, buddy. Ali Mack, yep, nice one. All the regulars are here, and a few more, obviously. So uh, we'll just let a few more of you come in to the stream first of all. We've got 48 watching. Oh, and 10 thumbs up already, and you ain't said nothing. 10 thumbs up, Shan. We haven't said anything, apart from hello. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one down, though, Shan. Jimmy, James Dickin says, Merry Christmas, mate. Yeah, we put a, we've we got the Christmas tree up at the back there, as you can probably see. And we've got a few decorations. He's here again. Look, he comes straight in old bison. Look, say hello to everybody. He's still limping, by the way. He's still got a bad leg. He's on tablets at the moment, but uh, we'll see how he goes with it. He doesn't seem to be in any pain with it, but we don't know, do we? Hiya, Leon. I think one of, we got one of your things featuring a little bit later on, Leon, in the, in the Guess What It Is. Leon actually uh, helped me out, and he sent me an, an item to... Uh, a little bit harder, let's say, than the one <laughs> I've been putting up for the Guess What It Is. Let's have a little look. I've done this for uh, when we do, uh, you know, sometimes we get a super chat coming and I play me a little bit of music. I've tried to capture the, sh the chat section on the screen so that we can actually see that. I want to see if the chat section comes up and scrolls. Is that all right there, Sharon? Yeah, it does come up, doesn't it? So as soon as we get a super chat in from anybody, I'll put that up on the screen like that as well as play our little music. So that just means that we can actually see, everybody can see, because not everyone's watching on a device uh, like a palm uh, hand uh, phone or whatever or an iPad a lot of people watch it on the big screen TVs and there's no way they can view the chat unless obviously uh, they've got their device in their hand as well so if they get on this if they've given us a super chat then that's just the thing I've just found out how to do that so that's a little bit of uh, extra stuff I've been doing there 73 in the house at the moment now we've only been going for three minutes so uh, I hope I did send some messages out on Facebook hey talk to me baby I forgot to put a message out in the uh, community tab on YouTube. I've got to remember to do that. I have so many things to set up, as you can imagine, Sharon. She's only just been ready for the last two minutes. I've been doing things. What have you been doing, baby? Sewing. Sewing. I've been doing the technical stuff, baby. Yeah, well, I can't do that, so yeah. what's the problem? Yeah. Hi, Ian. Yeah, let's say hello to a few more people. More likes are needed, Dave. Parkness there. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let's have a look at Ian Days. Hiya, buddy. Mick Mowers, keep up, baby. <laughs> Mick Mowers is on every stream going, Sharon. I will just say, Martin's <laughs> made a cup of tea. I made the tea and I made it in our new cups. I don't know whether you can see that there. Look at that, look. If you remember last week, we um, we got Snobby, Snobby Scrap Picker, up to the 1,000 subs. 
And all he's got to do now is get his viewing hours up there. So he's pushing out some long uh, live streams at the moment to try and get viewings to, to get that going. Has he got a lot to get then? And, eh? Has he got a lot more? I think he's got about it? just under 2,000, something like that, Shao. So it's a challenge, Shao, but there's nothing more I could do apart from watch the streams. Or or if you're not actually watching the streams, you're not there for four or five Can't hours. You his camera on while he's sleeping. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. Either. People might want to watch him sleep, and it's like yeah, but it's, it's what fast. people have to watch it. Shower, watch hours. It's called. So what I will do if I'm if I'm working in the log cabin, for example, and I start watching uh, a stream in in the in the morning or whatever, I'll just leave the computer running. That's all I'll do, Shower, because I like to help out, baby. <laughs> Hi everyone, BS Small Engines, Briggs and Stratton Small Engines. I take that stands for. Not BS as in uh, the stuff you find in fields where cows drop, that sort of BS. No, it's not that stuff, is it? Uh, what else have we got there? Jenny Harmon. Can I say happy birthday to Jenny from James? Oh, it's, you must be James, obviously, then. Well, if it says her name's Jenny Harmon, obviously her name's Jenny. Yeah, hold on, shout. She's and can, can Jenny say thank you for the lovely tea, present and cards? He's done, he's, he's taken it at breakfast in bed, hasn't he? That's what he's done there, shall Oh, you sneaky man. He's done breakfast in bed, hasn't he? Do you know why? So that she'll let him on the live stream today for about two hours. That's what's happened there. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so... Uh, can, can I rant over this, shall Oh, no, no, no. Now, we all love receive, to receive gifts. And we didn't even have a clue that this gift was coming in the post. It was a box about that big. Remember that dance, big box, little box, big box. I've done it last week, didn't I? Anyway, not dancing today, by the way. I don't think so, anyway. And um, we got this parcel come, and, and so I, I went on Stob Snobby's live stream that day, and it was from, from Stobby and Dusty. They put this box of uh, like a, a gift set of Costa coffee with these two uh, glass Costa mugs with uh, uh, po coffee pouches in there as well for me and Sharon. What a lovely thing to do. You subscribers are really nice people at the end of the day. Well, a lot of you are anyway, apart from the trolls. Anyway, so when I went on the stream and thanked him for it and showed... Hang show on, hang on. Hey? I got the dog's present. Oh, sorry, yeah, he got the dog some chews as well. Sorry, boy. And he's been eating them as well. Enjoyed and Barley, the they've been eating them. Yeah. Anyway, so I went on his live stream and I showed... I said, oh, thank you, shouldn't have done that. Nice one, snob and all that. And he said, a bit of a story attached to that. This is where the rant comes in, Sharon. He said he went down the post office with this box, and you know now it's all measured and everything's measured and weighed dead accurate. Anyway, he said he put it across the counter, and he was forty. I think he said forty-six grams. Forty-one. Was it forty-one? Yeah, I listen to people. Forty-one grams over the two kilograms, which meant a parcel suddenly shot up to fifteen odd pounds in postal because of forty-one grams over the weight limit. And, it's, it's, and what he'd done, it, it was the weight of a birthday, not a birthday card, a Christmas card. Because he, he thought, well, I'll kill two birds with one stone. I'll put a, a thank you card in the box. Yes, Christmas card is. Cool. And he put a Christmas card in the box. <laughs> and that ended there, as I say, being the dearest Christmas card. Because he couldn't unwrap it and take it home and all that. It was all really wrapped up nice. Oh, what? he's the king of wrapping up. Who? That man. Oh, yeah. Well, it might have been Dusty Shaman. We don't know. So this is where the rank comes in. Now, do you remember when the post office, right? Now, also, let, oh, before I go that far, before I go that far, Snobby, like us, over the years, we go to the same post office all the time. We've used the same one for years and years. We don't use them so much now because we don't really do eBay anymore. We, we used to, we have to, used to, I used to go to auctions, buy and sell stuff and all that sort of stuff and sell it on eBay and stuff like that. So hence, we go to our local post office, they got to know you, and before you know it, everything's working well and you're putting literally thousands of pounds across the counter. Then it got privatised. When it got privatised, they say, oh, nothing will change. The service will improve. Well, no, what it's done, the people might still be the same sitting behind the desk, but everything's computerised now to the extent where if they are seen to... Oh, that's only 42 grams or 41 grams. Oh, that's all right. That'd be all right. Because it's got to be recorded against that person's name, they're frightened of losing their jobs because computer says No. So poor old Snobby, for the sake of a card, if you went in the post office back in the 60s or the 70s, or maybe even early in the 80s, and you was a regular customer, they'll say, oh, yeah, put that in, that'll be all right, and go, off it goes. Oh, oh, oh Sharon, oh, Sharon, oh. Sharon. Oh, Snobby, you're going to get a calendar. 
calendar. I'm so Bob. pleased Barbara's getting a calendar. Oh, look at that little baby up there, look. Oh, so kind. Thank you. Barbara, you're all right. Barbara, you've been missing for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Have you been okay? Did I put that on, Barbara? Oh. Yeah, thank you, my friend from the Super Chat. I love you, baby. So, Barbara. Hold on, shout, baby. Hold on, baby. She can't hear you. <sighs> Barbara, did we give you a calendar? Are you in no, for a calendar? No, no, she's not. No, she hasn't been here for a couple of weeks. Don't think. So, Barbara, send us your address. Put your name and calendar. address down there, Barbs. And uh, we'll stick a calendar in the post, one of our 2020, which, by the way, are going to be ready this weekend. We hope to get them all printed up this weekend. That's the cover of it, obviously, so uh, can't show you none of the pictures because uh, that will spoil the thrill, won't it? <laughs> Thank you very much, Barbara, and a happy Christmas to you. And also from Mike Thompson at the back there. Brilliant, lovely jubbly. Thank you very much, Barbara. To the extent where you've thrown me. I forgot where I was. Chris always copies us. Who's that, Sharon? What's she done now? No, be doing that next. I've talk, I'll, I'll have to teach him. Sharon's brother. He does a daily chat show. We'll talk about him a little bit later on because he's Can't got. Talk about brother. No, he's got nice. his bingo later, Sharon. I like to plug people, yeah? Oh, I love the bingo. Exactly. So I will talk about your brother later, baby. Let's have a look, a little, little look in the comment section here, see what I've missed. Martin, you need a super chat jingle. Yeah, I haven't sorted that out yet. We're officially not in Christmas at the moment. Even though we've got all the decor up, well, most you got them all up, Sharon. The decorations? Um, no, not all. No. You haven't got them up. No. Oh my god. Uh, where are we? Uh, budget and leg it. Uh, Leon says I'm going to win fridge magnets. <laughs> you can't go in for the comp, the second one, Leon, because you sent the picture in, and I did say that to you on the phone. <laughs> you got to win it fair and square. Everyone wants these, Sharon. These are now getting limited edition, by the way, folks. I'm, I'm halfway through the box now, so if you do win one of them, we will be doing them again in the future when these go, these ones, but we'll change the picture. So that it means that if you've, if you've won one before, there's no reason why you can't win another one and form a collection. Because people collect fridge magnets, Sharon, don't they? Sharon? Oh, so good. Answer me, baby. People collect anything, anything they like. Are oh, you John Led? Barbara's been poorly, Sharon. That's what she's saying there. Mm. Why have you seen that and I haven't? Yeah. Liam Harvey says, not seen your oh, friend... Have you feeling better, Barbara? ...in any videos for a long time with a Trans Am. Yeah, I don't see him no more. I've mentioned that on a few of the live streams. I've not seen him for, well, nearly two years now, to be honest with you. Or a year and a half. Hiya, Mo. Homesteading. That's Tanya. Thank you very much. Did you get your... Uh... It takes a bit longer. Did you get your pen, Tanya? No, didn't she, didn't she not? No, we sent her stickers before. But, uh... Oh, did we only send that off this week? Yeah, but... Tan Tanya's got a PO box number, and I don't know whether she picks them up or whether she yeah, she sends someone to pick them up like her daughter or something. I'm not too sure. Oh, I don't know. Will Higgs, I hope you've got your dancing shoes on, Martin. <laughs> I've got the same shoes I, I've worn for the last 18 years. No, more than that, shall not it? Don't forget, 30 years. Don't Reebok forget Classics, I'll wear. People on Saturday the 14th of December, I don't know what we're going to do yet, but we'll be giving away a calendar sticker and a pen, so we'll have to think of something... For you to do so you can win that yeah set. a calendar a fridge we'll magnet we will work on that a fridge magnet shall a sticker it's the full set shall i know that's what i said and one of our lovely retro restore what pens more could you want out of life? there you go what a fantastic gift to win and that's because it's my birthday on the sunday that's when is it show two weeks isn't it ten oh, days oh hang on what What's the matter, baby? Nothing. No, I'm thinking out loud. Don't think out loud, no. baby, because all you went was oh, oh. I know. So what are you thinking? It doesn't matter. So you've interrupted me again. I've, I've thrown myself again. I've thrown myself as well. You've thrown me, Sharon. Anyway, we've had some other mail this week as well. We've had the uh, the latest sticker from Roy's The Boys channel. There's Roy's The Boys' new sticker there. Uh, he sent, sent me that in the post. I've now got his new one and his old one. Have I got the old one here, Sharon? Oh, yeah, I've got the old one here. Look, it's pretty similar. He's worked very hard on the graphics there, as you can see. And there it is. Well, what's the difference? YouTube at the bottom. <laughs> Happy days. Eh? That's taken a lot to do, that shit. And he's changed the shape of it as well. Look at that, look. Oh, and it's got Roy's the boys all on one line. Yeah, I know, yeah. Very well spotted, so, Sharon. And it's square and not round. Yeah, so that's what we've received in the post there. We've also received one from JJ's uh, mowers. That's Jason Massey. He's in the chat... Not in the chat. Yeah, he's in the chat at the moment, isn't he, Shell? So he sent us that. 
Why did you only send me one, Jason? I've seen other people like Mix Mowers and like Roy's the boy, and they've had two. Oh, he was very upset. Two, and I've only got one. <laughs> and also, while, while I'm here as well, I've still only got this old one. Look, from Mix Mowers. That's the old design. <sighs> no one sends me anything, Chow. No, I was going to send you more. Look, you big child. Hey, my chat's frozen, is it? Or have I gone back? Uh, no, I didn't buy much on Black Friday. Oh, that's another rent show. Oh, God. Hey. Right, now, I haven't been out shopping for a long time. I don't go to the high street shopping and all that. But we went, Shell, when was it last? Two days ago? We went to a place called, is it Springfield, Shell? I like Springfield. Springfield, it's on the way to Spalding. Spalding. And it's all Christmassy. It's all that. Uh, all, all, all the shops are decked out and all that. There's music, which is nice. I don't know what you're going to moan about. Well, you get, I'm getting there, Shell. And then you start looking at the prices of things. The prices in shops is absolutely ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. I picked up so many things and put them back. And that's why the blinking shops are empty, Sharon. And that's why most people come home, go online, and do their shopping online. But that's the trouble, you see. It's all about the shopping now. That it might it's, it's all it's taken the soul out of Christmas, Sharon. The spirit's not there, is it? Not unless you recreate it, like we've got our trees up and all that and you know, we like it. We like the we like the, the, the festivity of it, you know, but it's so blinking dear. Because it's all about money now. Unbelievable. I'm not going to rant about it, shout, even though I just have. Yeah, that's just got that off my chest anyway. Let's have a little look in the comments section before we go any further. Uh, John Ladd says, Martin, working in Tesco's is bad enough... Uh, at this time, at this time of year, well, I would imagine working in any shop is bad, especially the big supermarkets, because they are absolutely mad. Isn't it, Shaz? Madness. It's not only madness on a Saturday; it's madness right up to Boxing Day. No, bo uh, Christmas Eve, isn't it? Right up to Christmas Eve, they have one day off, and do they have Boxing Day off, Sharon, or, the, or some of them open? Not for I think it's Audi or Lidl's the only supermarket that shuts Boxing Day. I don't know, Sharon. One of them two is shut. Yeah. I know Sainsbury's is open Boxing Day. Yeah. Oh, Dave says, Parkness, the true definition of a bargain is something you don't need at the price that is too good to miss. How many times have we all done that? Especially if you go in Lidl and you look down, if you're a bloke, you go down the middle section where all the tools are and stuff, you normally come out of there with something. You don't really need it, do you? I've done that many a time. Hey. You're yeah. fiddling about stuff. Put my cap down. <laughs> Don't put it down, baby. Fill it up. Oh, <laughs> you, what shop are you in, John? John Lad says his shop is shut on Boxing Day. What shop is that? Hey. I'm shut Christmas Day and Boxing Day. I'm on strike. That's a good idea, actually. Hmm. I might do that. Yeah. That's it. I'm trying. I'm just having a quick look through the comment section here. Any of you here work on, on... No one works on Christmas Day now. Surely, Shadow, do they? No. Do they? No. Barry says, stop ranting, Mark. Only the poor nurses and doctors. I'm not ranting. When there's a rant, there's a warning comes up. I'm just flicking through back. I just want to have a little look here. We actually brought something. What's Martin that? Brought, brought these, a set of four from Curry's. Oh, yeah. And they gave him the receipt, and they said, take the receipt, because it might go down Black Friday. No, they said it will go down Black Friday. It actually went up. It went up. It went up. So this Black Friday, it might sound a good idea on the big adverts and all that, but as I say, they said, keep the receipt. These, I think these cost about, I don't know, you said 60, 64, 65. They went up to 90-odd. Yeah, that was on Black Friday. So don't think just because you see Black Friday and advertised it that you're getting a deal. If I would have got, if I would have waited for Black Friday, I would have had to pay another oh. twenty quid or whatever. Look at that! Unbelievable! What's that, baby? Mark's wife was what she works in as Darius of her half, and the people were fighting over TVs. Oh, don't say that, sure. Madness. There's some funny people out there now fighting over products. I can't believe it. 
Uh, no, just having a little frick through. I thought Black Friday was a dodgy film. <laughs> I'm Alfred's. Joe, uh, Joe Slim says he's at Alfred's and shut Xmas Day only. Oh, yeah, I, 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 most of these big superstores are. But people still go out on Boxing Day look, looking for a bargain. Boxing Day, I must admit before. And as for buying gift vouchers, I know people say, oh, I don't know what to get someone. Let's get him a give, give him a gift oh. voucher. Most people don't, or a lot of people don't spend the blinking gift voucher, and then six months later they find it on a shelf and it's gone out of date. So you've wasted that money. I've lost a little bit of weight, but I've got two jumpers on today, so that's my excuse. But I have lost weight, and Martin's lost weight. Yeah, we're on the ketogenic diet. We're trying. Ketogenic diet. Yeah, it's, it's easy now. Once you get, once you pass the first uh, week or so, it, it gets a lot easier. Right. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, fancy fighting over a carrot. <laughs> Who said that, shall we? Reindeers, reindeers, would. Cuddly carrot, Kevin the carrot. Yeah. Anyway, I want to show you, if those of you who don't know, that on my RetroX channel this week, i done a little conversion from a, an old oil can I found. When I say an oil can, oh, I, th I think it was probably a paraffin can, to be honest with you. There was no markings on it. It, it was never going to get used again, because a lot of people say when I restore these sort of things, oh, did you, did you uh, seal the inside? Did you do this? Did you do that? <laughs> Hey? Oh, Mark, you got a busy day then, Christmas Day, because you're a prison officer. Yeah, see, people like that work in the police, don't they? Oh, someone's got to look after them, shall So anyway, so I've done this restoration. I'll just show you it first of all. This was it when I bought it. Now, we got that from a car, uh, car auto jumble show, didn't we? And yeah. <laughs> it, as I say, it's, it, a lot of people say, oh, it's got lovely patina. Well, you don't know what sort of a, 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 a product that was. I don't know whether it was a... Um, uh, an oil can. I think it was a paraffin one, as I said. But um, anyway, I've seen them restored online, and a lot of people had the lights coming. You see the spout there coming on the top there. A lot of people have had the light bulbs, like a candle bulb, just coming out the spout, and they look absolutely ridiculous. And I didn't like the idea of that. That spout there, as you can see, just to attach a, a, like a lamp holder to it. But as I say, I didn't like the idea of that, so I went one step further and had a bit of a brainwave, and I've done that to it, and. I absolutely love it, and I think that's one of the best things that I've restored. And as I say, I used the spout there. Can you see what I've done there? I got that um, looks like oil coming out, and a lot of people they loved it. They love what I've done there because I've never seen it done before like that. Let's show you that bit. There it is. There, look. That oil, all that is, is a coat hanger bent with hot glue running down it, and I made a little puddle of it. Then I sprayed it black. Now a lot of people said, "Oh, new oil should be like a golden colour." Yeah, I know that. But it's visual, it's oil, people associate oil with being black. And I think that looks lovely. And now she's claimed it, Sharon, haven't you? Yeah, that one won't be going up for sale. Oh, oh, it's the wrong picture, Sharon. <laughs> that's an old one. No, no, yeah. what I do there, look. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I actually restored there. And I think it absolutely looks fantastic, to be honest with you. And, uh, as I say, she's, she's claimed it from that to that. Look at that, look, absolutely fantastic. The decals on there, obviously, I, I printed from my laser printer. Uh, I've done it again, Sharon. What is wrong with him? <laughs> oh, you're all having a good guess. <laughs> well, don't guess what it is. <laughs> They've got to bring preview of it, Sharon. Huh? <laughs> hey, don't put it. If you've got it, if you knew what that was, put it in the comment section. I can't actually remember what it was. I, well, I know what it is, Sharon. I know you do, and I do in a minute when I look at oh, it. Oh, I hope they don't get it, Sharon. If they get it now, right, that's, that's thrown Hang that. On. That's thrown it. They're right. guessing now, Sharon. They're guessing now. Oh, I've forgotten. It's not what I've got. Oh, here. Sharon, look, hold on, look. I've got to do it now, and I? I was going to do it a bit later on. This is going to be the first one. <laughs> I'm going to show you this image. Those of you who don't know, if you've never been here before, you can win one of those lovely limited edition fridge magnets. Can you see? Oh, look at that, look. In, a, in its own gift clear cellophane bag. Look at that, look. Absolutely fantastic. So you can win that. No one's got the answer yet, have they? I've not, that's not the right thing. Shall look, look at my hands, look. Remember? No. Oh, come on, Shell. I showed you it the other day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I, I, I had to do sign language. <laughs> the last time I'd done that where she didn't know it, I turned around and whispered it to you. Someone heard through that mic. That mic picked it up. And they, they, they guessed it, but they said, oh, I, that's how sensitive that is. It's sensitive like me. <laughs> they're, they're guessing, Sharon, look. 
Right, I'm going to show you it now. So if you get it right in the comment section, just have a scroll back, shall? Just make sure no one's got it, because... Uh, I've seen it yet. Hey? It's I've not there, it is it? That's a good guess, what Stefan Ainsley said. It's a chain link. No, I can't see it there, shall? I actually think I've, uh, I've got them. I can't see it. Right, okay, no. That oil can, Andy Gobby says, was the best yes, thing... Yes, that... I agree with you there, Andy. Yeah, that's what he said there. Right, shall? Guess what it is? This is the first one coming up, shall? Ready? There it is. Okay. I'm going to give you five seconds. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. So you've actually had more than five seconds, actually. So you've been guessing already. I can see that. <clears throat> Bookcase, key fob. Dusty says it's a key fob. No. But I'll see where you're coming from, Dusty. Belt buckle. No. I've got you. I've made one that's a little bit difficult. At last. Uh, what? One. I thought you said someone's got it, Sharon. Seatbelt, key fob, tie, glass cutter. Why is it going so quick? Like, slow They're down. going mad, Sharon. Stop. Pram, slow down, people. Look at all these coming in, Sharon. Look. All them. Look at them. Look. They're zooming through them, Sharon. Yeah, they went mad. I can't see it yet, Sharon. Can you? No. No. They're slowing down, Sharon. <laughs> I'm going to hide that one. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'll show it. I'll show you. No, I can't show it yet, Sharon. I can't. Listen, Sha, they've been getting them within one or two seconds. Let's show them it again. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh. I'm going to do that a couple more times, and then I'll give you a little clue. Anyone writing down anything rude, it won't come up because... The comments don't accept because it's, it's got any swear words or anything. It won't come up. They go hidden straight away. Can you see it, shall? No? No. Lock barrel, lever cut. I can't believe you've not got it. There's 151 people in the room and no one has got no, it. Don't be getting too cocky, Mike, because this is the first time... Shall, what do you mean too it? cocky? Like, they've got them all for the last 11 weeks. Look. They've got them for the... Yes! Ah! Yes! <laughs> Mick Davenport. Mick Davenport. Well done, Mick Davenport. There we go. Look, that's the thing. And this is what it is. You must have all seen one of them. Look. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. That was a tricky one, that. And I'm so glad that I've got you after all. Oh, that's fantastic. Mick Davenport. Mick, leave your name and address down there, bud. Uh, you might have... Yeah, but I know, Cher, but due data, we can't keep addresses. You know, we can't data protection acts and all that. We're not allowed to keep addresses. So you've won that, Mick. If you just put your name and address in that email address there, and we'll ship that in the post to you. Uh, that'll be Monday morning. So well done, everybody, for having good, some really good complicated guesses there. But as you saw, there's only one winner in this case, and that's the first person that comes up with the right answer. Mick, no, you didn't win, mate. <laughs> Stephen Ball says, Hi, Martin and Sharon. Could you wish my partner happy birthday? <laughs> Hold on, Sharon. Is that a funny one? Her name is Norma. No, I can't. Norma Snork. What's that, Sharon? What? Steve Ball says, Hi, Martin and Sharon. My partner. No, that's a, that's a joke one, I think. Nor Norma Smokers. Norma, be Norma Smokers. Today? Normal smokers. What's that, Cher? Normal smokers? I don't know what no that is. No more smokers. No more smokers. Oh, no more. Oh, yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? Can't believe it. Fantastic. That's a lovely cup of tea, that, Cher. And I know I want to go down very well, baby. 3D printing RC with Heath. Good afternoon, Martin and Sharon. Actually, now somebody said Barbara said can open I'll, I'll try and look back. Oh, no. There's, there's dispute going on, Cher. I said can I, Barbara said can I, I mean, did she? Well, she might have said it, but did she say it in time, Shall? Let's have a little look. It's hard, isn't it? It's got to come up in our chat, and it's also got to be... Let me go right back, Barbara. Oh, she did say it, Sharon. Did she? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, I don't know. Who, who won it, Sharon? Below that? Mick Davenport. Mick Davenport. Did Mick Davenport say that? Now cut her. Mick Davenport said now cut her there. Let's go back on the chat, Sharon. Mick Davenport. Mick Davenport. 
Mick Davenport. Wallet. He's had a few guesses, Mick Davenport, yeah? Well, he, he, I think he might be after Sharon. Sorry, Barbara. Hold on, Bob. Okay. It was going through so far. Let's have a look. He said it afterwards, yeah. Oh, sorry, Mick. Mick. Your name off. Mick. Barbara. She's the adjudicator, Mick. <laughs> oh, my God. Mick. Well done. Oh, You've bro. been taken off of the naughty step. No, he's, he's been put on the naughty step. Why? He hasn't done nothing. It was our mistake. Shall we? I made a mistake, love. I'll, I'll have to put that down to you, to be honest with you. All right, then. I'll have to put that <laughs> Barbara, yes, you are right, Barbara. You have won. It was moving very quick, so I, I am sorry. Barbara, I... stick your name and address down there. I'll tell you what, Sharon. We've got to send him out one now, haven't we? Haven't we? Would that be all right? So Mick, you've got the Mick says he guessed it first, Sherry. He guessed it last week. I can't do no more than give you a preview accidentally. All right, then, Mick, we'll send you one. What? Fridge magnet. What for, Sharon? It won it. You said. You sent him one out. Oh, I thought you said Mick Mowers. Not that Barbara said he can keep it. No, Barbara, we're going to put one in your calendar box. He's got to win it, Sharon. Mick Mowers. No, not Mick Mowers. Mick Davenport. Oh, look, you've made him upset. Mistake. Look, he's got. Look at them faces Who's he's got up there. Look. Mick, look at his little faces up Mick, there. Mick, we're sending you one. He's all upset, look. Mistake. Yeah. Look, shout, look. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? He's so all now upset. Put some smiley faces, Mick. Yeah, put some smiley faces on there, Mick. <laughs> uh, Mick, Mick, Mick's mower says oh, a sticker on its way. Does that mean your latest ones, Mick? Will I be out? Of, will I be out to keep that one for all prosperity? Because it's an old Mick's mower's. So when you're uh, a famous YouTuber with millions of subscribers, I can say I had the original one, and that might be worth something then. Don't forget so. to send your address, Barbara. Yeah, yeah, I look, Brendan Brady's fan says, Martin is a nice person and admits his mistake, and at our expense, we're sending it out. What more can we do, shall we? What more can we do, baby? Hey, That's the sort of people we are. Oh, quick hello to Steve Watson on his tea break. Where, Sharon? Just at the bottom there. On my tea break? Where are you working, Steve? Let us know, mate. Yeah. Let us know. You ring up and say you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Dave in the sky. How are you, bud? Oh, come down. It's cold up there. <clears throat> right, let's have a little, little look in the comment section here before we go on. Hammy Hunter, Martin, nearly had a heart attack thinking Mix Mars was getting a free magnet. He ain't getting a free magnet. <laughs> you have to win these. You have to win them. You can win them. They're easy to win if you just guess what it is. Guess what it is, yep. Or a 9 99 Super Chat. We'll give one of them way free. That's what we do, shall we? Isn't it? No, 9 99 Oh, I don't know anymore. Yeah, or we'll people have a calendar, shall Yeah, we'll give them calendars away. Well, we? yeah, but that's only till the end of uh, December. Benedict magnets. End of December. I should be shipping them out next week, hopefully. So oh, uh, I've said that. Benedict White, right, he's off to fixing his son's car. That sounds familiar, doesn't it, Martin? See, Benedict. all you dads look after your boys. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, and your daughters. Yeah, yeah. Until, that, you, until hey? you get a thank you. No. Does Benedict get a thank you? We don't. But my brother said the same. He didn't thank Dad. Yeah, I know. Mick, you're too busy keeping the trolls away. There's no trolls in here, mate. Sure there ain't. Anyway. Now, you know on my channel, right? Listen to this. You know, I built a powder coating oven. I, I was a novice at it uh, a few months back, and I decided to... Still are. <laughs> oh, you're horrible, aren't you? Aren't you, baby? Hey. Oh. Hey. I don't pick you up on your faults, baby. Oh, you do. Anyway. So I've learned along with you, like I do, like I learned welding online. I learned it in front of a, a, the YouTube audience. A lot of people slag you off. But there's not many people out there doing powder coating or, what I say, educational powder coating videos. And that's why I decided to build my powder coating oven out of a filing cabinet and an old uh, electric cooker online to show other people and to help other people out. And as a result of that, I've had a few emails back from people. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Let me just find them here, first of all. They're down in the section down here. And this is from uh, Mike Baker. Now, if you've seen my videos, uh, you would have seen my powder coating oven made out of a half-size filing cabinet. And as you can see there, 
Mike Baker's actually made one as well. Now, I took all my... I, I had a separate cooker as well, as you know. He's actually <laughs> built the cooker into it as well. Look, I quite it, like it. It looks like a glorified cooker, doesn't it? It's an old-fashioned like cooker. It. And he says... Uh, retro. He says, uh, Hi, Martin. I've just a little photo showing you what I've been up to with my powder coatings. All learnt from you, Martin, and the oven. And as it say, that's what he's actually built. So he watched me videos. I say there are a few videos on um, YouTube of powder coating ovens, but they're, they're, not, well, isn't it? they're not really details. Yeah, well, I was going to put mine on wheels first of all, Sharon. And this was his uh, powder coating attempts after he's built his oven. And oh, that's no, the wrong picture, shall? What's so, wrong with you? I oh, know. Look, he's. <laughs> He's powder coated That's very them. Good. Now look at them, look. And he's put the little uh, indents with the uh, letters there as well. That's probably powder coating as well. And yeah, you can produce them sort of uh, results, which is like factory stuff. <laughs> what? We like that, baby. Still <laughs> so yeah, that's what Mike Baker has actually done. Very good. And then we've got Jeffrey Mortimer. Uh, Jeffrey Mortimer, again, he says, um, I've attached a photo copy. A photo of my first attempt at powder coating. He said it's nowhere as good as mine, but it's a start. Well, that's what he. I actually done one of them, shall didn't I? Yeah. Uh, we picked Come up. On, Hold on, baby. Article. And he said this was his first attempt. And here we go. Look. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, I think it's nice, Sharon. It's very good. I think it's lovely. It's a little bit of old tech. I must say, look, from, very festive yeah. colours. Yeah, I know. Look, look at that. Now that'll go in anybody's house, shall. Yeah. That would adorn a lovely table uh, in at Christmas time. He's done that, didn't he, for his wife? Because look at the wallpaper colour and that. Yeah. And he's also probably been inspired to look at the old-fashioned lawnmowers because he also says, I've also attached my first two lawnmowers that I picked up this evening. Uh, it's a Suffolk Super Colt and a Suffolk Punch. They both run, but are going to, I'm going to service them and repaint them. And that's from Jeffrey Mortimer. Yeah, so as I say, again, it's, it's, what, it's tinkering about. And that's what it's all about, having a go... Now, I'm no expert, as I said to you before. not having a tinkle, is it? Hey? not having a tinkle. You've you got to have a tinkle, shall It's all about having a go. Now, I've, I'm not a, a, an expert in powder coat, as you know, but I've done quite a few things now. And like anything, if you keep doing it, you'll get better at it, and it, it becomes second nature. And people have seen that in my videos. And as I say, you can go out and spend a fortune on a powder coating oven. Uh, thousands of pounds, one of that size or, or even bigger, like £2,000. Or you can take some old scrap like I did in that video and make one. And other people have made them on the strength for that. So that's fantastic. And I do like to get a, a, an email back, like feedback, uh, from people where they've created something. Oh, I've inspired them to have a go, Sharon. Yeah? yeah. I wish I could inspire you to work that kettle. Oh. Unbelievable. But, you know, it's, it's just... It's, it's, you may not have all the gear... Someone said that to me once, I've got all the gear and no idea. Baby. You may not have all the gear, and it's like I, I had someone uh, on, on, that, uh, on my Retro Hacks channel, I get a lot of silly comments on there, I restore the, an old steel wheel off the trunk for claim. And uh, I had someone says, oh, oh, because I said, like, out to, I restore wheel restoration from home, which is my home. Oh, Sharon. Oh, baby. 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 Shell, can you see that? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, my friend from the Super Chat. Oh, I love you, baby. Yeah. Lovely baby, thank you very much. What does it say there, Shell? I can't read it. Yeah, I'm going to be back on that next year. I've got to get that Triumph out of the way first. Yeah, please let the Triumph get out of the drive. Got to get it sorted out. That's Gullet125, by the way. Uh, I'll grab a calendar. Trouble is, it's in 9 dollars Shell. Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. Is it another gift one? Is it? Can you write that down, Shell? I've done it. I'm on the phone. Oh, you're efficient, aren't you? Have me moments. Yeah, they were good old mowers then, Pete. Fantastic mowers, actually. And they, they always start. They, 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 they've normally been left for years and years. And uh, let me just hide that comment there. They've normally been left for years and years. But them old Briggs and Stratton engines, that, that, their sound is a pound, basically. Absolutely fantastic. Steve Watson says, hello, good afternoon. Shall? Hello. Hello. 
That's fantastic, Sharon, isn't it now? Hey, yeah. So where, how far down am I, Sharon? How far down, baby? What? Let me have a look. I've done the tin opener, didn't I? Mm -hmm. We had the price for that, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Do you remember this, Sharon? Look. Free, Sharon. Oh, that's oh, it did. I thought it froze for a minute. Well, those of you who don't know, you can send us in an image of your fridge, and we'll get the comment section down the side there to hmm, what's the word, shall assassinate you? Work out what sort of a person they think you are, and that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you a picture of someone's fridge. This person, I haven't seen him in the chat room actually, but um, we'll have a we'll put them up anyway. And they might turn up, you know what they're like. Some people do watch and don't comment, so um, he knows he sent the picture into us. So this is the inside of one of our subscribers' fridges. And let's see if we can work out what sort of a picture, what sort of a picture, what sort of a person he is, shall. You ready? Right, there you go. What do you think about that one? Tell us what you think, people. We're showing them right down the main points, and we'll try and work out what that person is. Oh, likes a drink. Like, where's... Why is that, baby? Oh, he's paid the extra money. <laughs> oh, Gullit. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be back to you in a minute, Gullit. What do you reckon, Shell? Come on. He's a drinker. Right, put down he's a drinker, Shell. Or, or she. It could be a her. Someone who shops at Asda. Is that Asda shopping there, Shell? Well, no, I beg to differ because I see a little jar of mustard in the door. Little mustard? Right, shops at Asda. Aldi, one of them. <laughs> Got a tortoise. Now, I don't know whether you put tortoises when they hibernate in, in fridges, Sharon. He's put a box on that shelf, and it says there, <laughs> I don't think that's the place for it, Sharon. I don't think that's the boy. Roy's the boy's fridge. No. <laughs> definitely a female. Oh, that's interesting. That's definitely. That is definitely little. Right, well, definitely a female, Sharon. Why? Well, I'm just reading out the comments, well, I baby. I suppose wine here, yeah, there's no beer. <laughs> Rasmo says, on a low wage. Right, put that oh, down. No, there's meat, and I think that's pork steaks. Well, I know, but there's a few. There's a few spaces in that top on them doors, Sharon. Look, there's a few spaces. Oh, look, they like malt loaf. I like malt loaf. Malt loaf, Sharon. Yeah. Where's that baby? Fridge door top. Is that malt loaf? Yeah, lovely. Uh, yeah. let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. Torch box is where they keep the chocolate in. <laughs> you can't really keep away from kids, couldn't you? I thought you put torches, Sharon, in, in an airing cupboard. cupboard. Yeah, in a cupboard, isn't it? Yeah. Under the stairs or something. Yeah, it's Techie's fridge. No eggs. <laughs> no, we had Techie yeah, on last got week. They've got their veggies, though, haven't they? Is that cider, though, laying down? I top? think that's actually a well-balanced fridge, Sharon. What, with a bottle of cider and wine in? <laughs> Big bottle of cider on the left. Where's that? Where's the cider on the left? It's down the bottom there, love. You've that? Got... Oh, God. Scrumpy, that, isn't it? That's some scrumpy. Yeah. You getting this down, Sharon? Where, where, where are we up to? Sc uh, uh, alcoholic. Oh, that's a bit steep, isn't it? Well, they like scrumpy, Sharon. You're buying a big bottle of cider, of that big girl. Enjoys a balanced diet. Yeah? How can you have a balanced diet and be an alcoholic? And someone says it's done just for the camera. Well, you've got to be honest on this show, to be honest with you. You can't, you can't dress it up, Shao. It is what it is, isn't it? Right? So, who is it, Shao? Write down what that person... Now, this isn't us saying this. This is you lot. What have they said, Sharon? You're a drinker. Right. You shop at Asda. I beg to differ. It's Audi or Lidl. Right, OK. You've got a tortoise in the fridge. I think that was just put there as a... You're a as female. A, a female, wouldn't A lady out... Yeah. yeah, go on. And you're on a low wage... Low-waged alcoholic. Yeah, on with a balanced diet. So you're a low-waged alcoholic with a balanced diet and everything you've done was just for the camera. Oh, I don't know, Sharon. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's a bloke who, who, who does appear in the chat called John... It's a man! It's a bloke, yeah, he's a bloke, yeah. Get your tools out of the fridge! And his name is John Guy Gibbons and he's normally in the chat, but I don't know whether he'll pop his head up. And that, you lot, of, he's, he's an alcoholic. How can you be an alcoholic on a healthy diet, yeah? Yeah. And definitely on a low wage. Can you eat healthily on a low wage? Yes. Can you? Yes, you can. Not well, supermarkets, but it's all processed food, Sharon. That's not healthy, is it, baby? No, that was mince. Hey? No, it wasn't a lot of processed food. 
post this food in there. Put it back up again. Hey. Put it back up again. Well, it I've is. Got, see, it's not even got to my screen yet. Look. It's that olive oil in the middle shelf, Sharon. Hang on, that. When it gets on my computer, I'll look over there now. Is that olive oil in the middle I'd say shelf? That's lime juice. Okay. Oh, I like that sandwich. It though. is quite. It's... Now you got you got all your veg <laughs> down the bottom. Yeah, it's well segregated, Sharon. You've got your meat. Meat's down you've there, got your yeah. Sausage. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. I, I do believe that it's tomatoes. well balanced. And I Yogurts, yeah. cheese, yeah. I believe that's a well balanced fridge. I wouldn't mind that fridge, Sharon. No. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. There you go. That's John, um, I can't say second name because he changed it. It's John Guy Givens, anyway. You might see him pop up in the comment section. If you do, you've slaughtered him. Can't believe it. Can't. How can, Sharon, how can I call someone an alcoholic? Hey? Eh? He's an alcoholic, but. <laughs> no, you're doing it. Hey? It's a joke, Sharon. Um, jokes are supposed to be funny. Though. Yeah, I'm just uh, zooming back. That's very nice of. Um, yeah, got it, one, two, five. Got it, one, two, five. Sure you send your address. Yeah, do put your address down there. Please. Gullet one two five, that is a is that a motorcycle? Yeah. I don't recall doing a t-shirt of them, but what? Gullet one, no. Yeah, I know they, they didn't do a one two five. Oh well, they done a a Gorelli Tiger Cross show many years ago, many years ago, baby. Let's have a look there. Uh, Scrap metal junkie says you don't want to see my fridge. It's full of beer, on every shelf. Stella Thank should me. sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> you are an alcoholic then. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. That's up there. Look, we're having a row between Anthony and Elizabeth. It's a shame he's not on it. It's, it's all but supermarket, isn't it? It's, oh, it's all know. supermarket, baby. Yeah. It's all supermarket. Anyway, that was that. Yeah, so if any of you um, go over to... Uh, anyway, I was talking about Sharon's brother earlier on. What were you talking about your brother for earlier on, Sharon? Well, you, uh, was it this set up, this OBS thing? Was it that? Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, because I can do that, as I said to you now. I can do that and bring the chat up on there, which is nice. It's a nice little feature. That's <laughs> eh? Quite right, Adam. It was mixed shopping. But I can't actually read it, Sharon. I have to rely on the big uh, stuff. But it does help people when they're watching on TV and they can see the comment section coming do up there. Do you want uh, Lemmy Glasses? Do I want what? Let me grasp it so you can read it. Um, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Why don't you have air? Oh, it's all glary. No, I can't uh, read no. it. Oh, you, Where's your glasses? You've got to have good eyes to see through them, Sharon. Oh. Do you know my name is Michael Kane? Where's yours? Hey? I don't know, baby. If you do that, Sharon, look. You only got to be the only person that has glasses and doesn't wear them. Oh, my eyes have gone funny. Oh, no, I brother. can't see anything now, baby. Your brother's the same. Eh? Uh, King Triple Seven O Three. Have you been on a computer course, Martin? Why? Why? You look like Ray Winston, and then they've just put <laughs> Ray Winston. Sexy Beast. That was a good film. I like that. Should have gone to Specsavers. I did, Mick. I've been to Specsavers. I've got two pairs. But I never wear them. I find that... It's not to waste money. It's not to waste money, Sharon. But why buy them? Because they said you needed them. But you can't wear them. Yeah, I'm just about to explain why, Shall. I don't want to have to rely on them. Because I can see what I need to see. And if I struggle with something, then I, I either get nearer... I struggle with reading on cans. You know, that sort of... You like that sort of thing. You can't see the small print sort of thing. Then I need to magnify, but... Normally, I, I don't. Uh, I don't normally wear them. Obviously, I'm all right for driving. That's okay. That's fine for that. Uh, have you got your TV? I am typing on my phone. Ali Mac. I don't know what you mean, mate. Not sure. Let me just lose that for a minute. I so I can't see. I know you can probably see it if you're on big screens. Uh, Olive had stronger. It's not Olive from on the bus. Shall we call in your Olive again? Oh. Edward Thomas. Don't give her the ump. I don't call her that. I don't know nothing like Olive. Hey? I don't know nothing like Olive. No, you don't look like baby, baby. No. baby. See, my hair's going a bit grey on the side, shall I? Look. Look. You know it's going grey. Little fleck of grey there, look. Time, Does that make me distinguished? Yes, it does. Hey? 
Dirt Rider says, I remember somebody had a tortoise in their video, and I can't think who it was. Who had a tortoise in their video? I don't like tortoises. Hey? Chris Walter says, surprised you didn't say you were a welder. Shower with the glass, glasses. Hey? You need to give Sharon her own microphone. I was going to set that up. I was going to set that up. I was going to give her this one here, this one on the boom arm, look. And I was going to have a clip on one, but, um, oh, I've dropped it now. Oh it's, oh, it's falling down. Can you hear me still? Yeah, of course you can. Sharon's getting the tea on. Yes, she is. She's getting the tea on. Oh, it's your nickname, Gullet Ones. It's my nickname with my old banger racing number on. Oh, right. I see. You used to do banger racing then, eh? Nice one. Ah, there he is. <laughs> we just we just seen your fridge, John. Uh, the drink is wifey's. The tortoise is okay at five degrees Celsius, and I'm not allowed in the fridge. So that is... I thought you put that in there for a joke, John. Shout that, that was a real thing. Real tortoise? Yeah. Are you sure you're allowed to keep a tortoise in a fridge? I always thought you had to keep them in, like, an airing cupboard. When I used to watch Blue Peter... Yeah, when I used to watch that, they used to put it in the fridge, wasn't it? Yeah, did they, did they put the, where did they put the tortoise, yeah? In the box, in a big box. In a cardboard box. Well, it's in a box, yeah. Paper and all that, isn't it? It's in a box, yeah, look. Well, it's a bit bigger than that one, they open Blue Peter. Yeah. It's in a box, look, but. So you knocked it out on the floor, sank drips on it. Oh, it? don't oh, say that, Shell. don't say that. But can it breathe in there? Because it's, it's airtight sealed, isn't it? He's mucking about. He's mucking about. Now, what Mick Davenport says, Sal, which is one of the reasons, Mick, which is why I don't wear glasses permanently. See, Sharon has to, has to wear them all the time now, right? Because she worn them, and then she don't take them off. And as a result of that, when she takes them off, she's like that. Yeah? I don't want to have to wear them, then rely on them, you see. That's the reason why I don't wear them. I'll wait until I can't see anything, and then I'll, or I'll use them when I can't see anything, and then take them back off again. I don't know, shall you got a headache. You're always saying you've got a headache. <laughs> Tina says, just a wee bit, Martin. It's so close as you're on my TV. What's that, Teen? So close as you're on my TV. You're watching on TV, are you? Yeah. I don't know whether you can see the chat when it comes up on the screen like that, Tina. I'm not too sure. But on, on, on the software, on the computer screen, I can't oh, see I've it. Got hey? Oh, Christmas cheese. She's bought Christmas cheese, look. We should do a cheese tasting, shall Oh, I'd love that. Hey? Yeah, Look at that. What is this, shall Caramelised onions. Oh, lovely. So you can eat that on a ketogenic diet. Oh, it's strong. Oh, crumbly, baby. It is nice, isn't it? That's so good. It's so little. Eh? Yeah? Little, I think we're all right. Well, let's have a look through the comment section here. <laughs> Terry says, imagine that tortoise farting on the grub. <laughs> Dave Holden says Ronnie Barker Ronnie Barker and Rasmo says Olive Apparently we're like Ronnie Barker and Olive Sharon Can't believe it <laughs> Ali Max says I've got my phone connected to the TV And he's watching it on his TV Yeah that's what we do actually sometimes Because you can What's it called? Not What's the word? Not stream it to your TV Pair it with your telly on them smart TVs. You just press a button on your TV and it, it connects up to the main uh, TV via Wi-Fi network, doesn't it? Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, let's have a look. Sh Rasmo says, Sh Sharon reminds me of Thelma on Scooby-Doo. She was a cartoon. Yeah, you met Shaggy, didn't you? Where's Shaggy Shaggy, gone? Shaggy. Who's oh, that? Shaggy, is it? No, Scooby-Doo, I think. Shaggy. You're Shaggy. Oh, Shaggy. <laughs> oh, Carolina. <laughs> Shaggy, Sharon. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Scrap Metal Junkie says he's done van banger racing, shall? Well, Wimbledon. In a transit. Come second in the finals at Wimbledon Plough Lane. I used to go there in the 80s. Was it the 80s? Late 70s, What's early that? 80s. They do Skeggy. Is that banger racing? Yeah, it's banger racing, shall? Yeah, we went to that and when they done the caravans at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, we've done caravan racing, yeah. Um, 
What's that? I'm deeply upset. We've been to Cheddar Gorge, haven't we? Or did I go with a school? Usman Khan. Usman Khan. What's that, Chef? I'm deeply upset. Britain lost its most famous and greatest curry maker yesterday. Usman Khan had the whole skill set, and his fowl was said to have the explosive aftertaste. Is that someone else who's died, Chef? Because we lost Gary Rhodes this week, didn't we? Gary Rhodes, the uh, who else was the there? chef, Al, Clive. Clive James, uh, Kev, are you Kev from Epsom. Barney's very well, thank you. Yeah, Barney's all right. Oh, that's lovely that cheese, shall I must say? Right, let's have a look at um, where is it, shall? <laughs> it's froze again. I think the computer's trying to do extra things as well. That's why it's doing that. Sorry about that, but uh, you shouldn't do that, should it? Right, so this is where we've got some people who have sent in their their vehicles, if you're in America, shall Or vehicles, if you're here in the UK. And uh, let's have a look who we've got today, then. Let's have a little look here. Who have we got here today, shall Oh, here we go, shall You ready? This is from uh, someone in the chat room at the moment. His little daily runabout, which is uh, Parknest. This is Dave Parknest, by the way. He's in the chat there if you want to say hello to him. And he says, this is his... Um, oh, what got? Hey? What That's a Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. Hmm. Yeah, very big cars, aren't they? And his second car, he's got two cars, shall He's got that BMW. That is a 318i. That's a 1995 version. I had a 318i, which was 1984, which was the E20... No, not the E20. Yeah, it was an E28, wasn't it? It don't fit in the garage, does it? I don't fit in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get both in there, shall And then we've got... Um, where are we? Peter Garland. This is his car. And I've never had a go in one of these. I, I know they're, they're, they're very quick motors, apparently. He says, oh, I'm Peter Garland. My car is a Subaru Impreza WRX STI. 2011... Um, uh, UK style uh, had some issue when he bought it. The car had a head gasket, uh, head gasket skim, new timing belt, new water pump, radiator, air conditioning condenser, and he had his uh, wheels refurbished as well. Look at that engine, look at that, look. It's well looked after, isn't it? I'd like to powder coat that. Well, some of it probably is, Sharon. But working on these modern cars like that, as I say, that's a very powerful engine, that as well. And uh, I would imagine that it's a beast to drive as well. Um, I know they've got the fins on the back. A lot of boy racers used to put fins on the back. But in something like this, it is absolutely uh, very, very fast to accelerate. And I don't know what the sort of um, uh, speed for that is. He said it also had a new timing belt, new water speed? pump, radiator. I said the wheels refurbished in pearl black, as you can probably see there. Makes it look quite mean, that, doesn't it? Pearl black with metal flakes. And now it's all done. It's his pride and joy. Well, as you can see, it's a lovely old beast there, isn't it? And he, as I say, spent quite a lot of money on it. You can see it's been well looked after. Normally when you lift the uh, hood up or the bonnet, and you can see the sort of condition that's in. That's a lovely car. That's to say, that's a Subaru Impreza. The other one very similar to them was a Nissan Skyline, I think. That was another Japanese car, wasn't it? Which is um, uh, very nice. And then we got um, Philip Cousins. Uh, he said, hi, Martin, this is my bike. It's a 1985 Mako or Meso 250. Brought it brand new in 1985 for £1,600. And he's still got it in his shed. Well, that's him in, obviously, now. And that's probably... He's got some medals there, shall Look, trophies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, shall I bet he can't touch the floor. <laughs> hey. I bet he really... I, he'd probably have to ride it side saddle, shall yeah? But he's looking at all them trophies, look. He's got the World Cup there as well. Look, the Jules Rimeau trophy down there, I think. Mm. Isn't it lovely? And it's probably worth more than that now. But having your bike, which you've kept all them years, and still haven't... I wish I would have done that with my 350 LC, Sharon, that we had in 1982. Fantastic. So, anyway, that's our uh, reader's cars. Where's that... Um... I'm losing everything here today, baby. Losing a plunge, love. Yeah, and that's that. <laughs> oh, that's 
lovely, isn't it? Nice to see what you people have got. Uh, we, we need, we, we're running a bit short on images now of, of what uh, you've got for definitely guess what's in the fridge, or not guess what's in the fridge, what's in the fridge. So if you if you want to take a picture of your fridge and send it to us. Have we have Mick Moe's fridge in yet? Yeah, they assassinated him, shall hmm. Well, in actual fact, I'll be honest with you, some people knew who it was. Yeah, some people, namely Roy's the boy, put down it was Mick Moe's fridge in the comment section, Sharon. Oh, uh, what a rent the mail. <sighs> some people, shall have a bit of cheese. Oh, fantastic. Paulie H says, does anyone go on the old MOT checker website? Direct.gov. Yeah, I've done that. We? We've done it. To look for your old cars and bikes. All my stuff from the 80s and even in the 90s just might be on the database, but it's just not out there anymore. All my full Granadas I've had, Cortinas, Yamaha RDs, they're all gone. Let's just let's have a look through the comment section again, shall we? Put that out for those of you who want to have a quick look. Hi, Martin, did you get my picture? What one's that, Ivan? I'm not sure, mate. I'll have to have a look. But uh, I've got them all in folders, so any that haven't been done, I'll do them as soon as I can. I'm working through them, but I need some more images of people's cars, for example, motorcycles, or any, any form of transport that you may have. Send us pictures of your dogs. Then I'd like it then. But also put a little bit of writing down as well. Yeah, about your dogs. Because I like to read out what you've done to it, for example. I've mentioned the word dogs and he's appeared. Of course he has, Shell. He says he wants to see the pictures of Sit down, Bison, baby. Sit down, my son. Wouldn't you, Bison? CB125. No, I didn't see that. I haven't got that picture, Ivan. I haven't got that picture, so you might have to resend it to me, mate. Just send it to that email there. Uh, just like anybody who's uh, wanting anything, um, like to, to get, get a prize or whatever, or if you leave a super chat, don't forget, if you leave a super chat, you'll get one of our super chat stickers there, and all you've got to do is put your name and address in an email there, and we'll ship it out to you. I know a lot of you have actually done that already, but we can't keep addresses realistically because of the Data Protection Act and all that. So, you, you know, we, we, we need to just go on the date or within that week when we've got the image, and... Um, or whatever, or, 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 or your, your super chat, and then we send you off as we do it. So that's what we have to do with that. Marky Mark, Sharon. Look at that, Sharon, look. Yes, Marky Mark. Why, hello. Super chat alert. Thank you very much. Oh, that's lovely. Hi, Martin and Sharon. Have you bought a 3D printer yet? Yeah, looking for one myself. Yes, I have. Marky Mark. I have bought a 3D printer. I still haven't unboxed it. I did show the box. Get out, boys. Get out of the way. Go on over there. Sound like the people, shall Talk to them for a minute. What, just after you just run over my dog? No, I didn't run over your dog, baby. Did he run you over, Bison, baby, on your poorly leg? I can't, I can't bring the box over. He's too weak. No. <laughs> But I've got this stuff, this this is the filament, look. That's the old filament for it, isn't it? Look, look at that, look. They make different types of this, apparently. This is PLA. I know you can get the um, other stuff, but PLA is the thing I'm going to be starting off with. You buy it in rolls like yeah, that. When are you going to use it? Well, when I set it up, shall I? When? I don't know. Soon. Can't do everything at once, baby. Oh, no, that would be you. We've got to find a space for it. Yeah, I'll put it over there, baby. Audi's doing the free printers or three D printers online, are they? Who are? Audi. Yeah, what one did I get? I got an Ender Free Pro. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, an Ender Free Pro. It's about two hundred. They're not. They're not nowhere near as dear as they used to be. I think the Ender Free Pro is a very good entry level one, and it's got great reviews on it apparently. So, are you, but as soon as you buy them, they are bits. There's bits you can update on them and all that sort of stuff, but. I don't know. Is it worth it? I don't know. I, I could definitely print stuff off when I get it all set up and all that. But that's again, is another big learning curve. You know, you've got to learn how to design the software. You've got to learn how to work the software, first of all. Um, I, I've, I've looked at a few videos. There's loads of tutorials on YouTube about it. So if you're needing to do something, I mean, that's why YouTube is a fantastic place. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. Where is it, Shell? Hold on, baby. I don't 
don't think I mentioned it on last week's stream, but I put a video out during the week of repairing Gary's Zephira B. Now, what was happening with it was there was no hot air coming out of the blowers. And we had a look at it. I've never dealt with that before. And what happened was he brought it around. And then, again, I had a little look online. There was nothing really online. I went into a few forums and they said, oh, it's the water, it'll be the thermostat. But to take the thermostat out, out of one of them is a, a right nuisance anyway. Cut a long story short, we started doing a bit of investigation. And we didn't know where all the levers were because it was blowing out air, right? When you turn the dial and it shifts the air from the windshield to the front vents, to the footwells, all that was working all right. So I decided to take the hoses off of the heater matrix that goes into the car flush it out which i did do because a lot of people were saying oh that'll be blocked up with I, I, sh I showed all that in the video anyway it wasn't that anyway went inside the car under the under the dashboard pulled the dashboard out looked at the pollen filter that wasn't a problem then anyway we found out that on the passenger footwell behind the glove box when you take the glove box out which is a big flappy door there was a socket left out. Now in the summer, this was one of the Vauxhall Zephyras that was recalled for the fire. You might have seen it on the on the TV if you're in the UK. It was recalled for one of the, the fires kept bursting at the flames or whatever because something to do with a heater, the heater, the connectors were melting and then causing fires or whatever. And even old Vauxhall Zephyras, Gary's one was a 2006 or five. Uh, uh, Vauxhall Zephyra B and even they have been recalled so you can imagine the amount of money that Vauxhall have lost through recalling them sort of vehicles or whatever anyway so once I found that fault we found that fault with it plugged it back in happy days it all started working again not a problem whatsoever now you think to yourself we haven't been in there the only people who have been in there are Vauxhall when it went back for the recall and that was in the summer, and we wouldn't have known because the heat has not been used at all. So it's only because the weather's turned cold, we turn the heater on and realise that it's, it's, it's stone cold. Now, someone put in the comment section that perhaps, uh, this isn't me saying this, perhaps it was a way Vauxhall were clawing some of the money back, which they have to, uh, I didn't say this, but it makes you think though, doesn't it? Because another comment... From, and I've pinned it to that video. So if you go and look at that video, uh, the last one I've done during the week on the Vauxhall Zephyra B, I've pinned the comment at the top. The bloke said, Hi, thank you very much for this video. I had the same thing. My car was recalled in the summer, he said, and then I've got no, uh, cold, uh, no hot air, exactly the same as you. And I went straight outside, he said. He says, because I envisaged taking it back to Vauxhall's and it cost him a hell of a lot of money, like... He said, I went straight outside and I took the glove box out and I basically saw that that connector, like you said, was unplugged and just left there. And he said, you've saved me a fortune. Thank you very much indeed. So isn't that amazing where it's just funny that because I put that video out, someone else, again, who had their car taken in for the recall, don't forget, cost cost a lot of money for them recalls, for them to employ a... Uh, uh, um, a Vauxhall engineer, for example, an hour's labour. What's that, 80 quid in the garage? I don't know. Was it about 80 pounds, 80 to 100 pounds for a garage labour? They would have charged an hour's labour, wouldn't they? Or been lost an hour's labour. So it makes you wonder whether they've been left off intentionally for you somewhere when it does get cold, come back, oh, I've got a problem with this, and they come, and I don't know. I don't know. It's just funny that someone else uh, said exactly the same thing. And they were so grateful for the video because they thought they'd have to spend the fortune. Riley's in the house, Sharon. Little Riley. Hi, Can we say hello? Riley. Hiya, Riley. You got your uh, pen? Hi. Look, Riley, look, I've got one as well. Look. I've got one, Sharon. I've got a hundred of them. <laughs> Sharon, he likes Sharon. Look, say hello, Sharon. Hello, Riley. Shall I get him dance? No, sorry, Riley. You wouldn't <laughs> want that. You'd have to have help. Get him and dance for him, Sharon. <laughs> That was a big hello, that was, Mick. Well, we sent him a sticker as well, Sharon, little Riley, didn't we? Yeah. He doesn't have to send a super chat, Sharon. No. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely cup of tea, that, Sharon. 
I'm not even going to report that. King, King. Oh, look, Gareth Price is going out for dinner. I wonder where he's going. Who's that? Going out for dinner, folks. See you all soon. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Is it McDonald's, gal? Hey? <laughs> he's just ran to get his pen. <laughs> oh. Shall I go and get the box? I'll show him I've got more than him. <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, how did he got up then? I know. Well, you didn't jump that fast when I said get the kettle on, baby, did you? Yeah, I know. Riley, you know the walls? If he, When he comes back, right, right on the walls. No, I shouldn't say that, should I, Shia? <laughs> What's that, Leon saying? Guess what it is. Number... To, to let go, mistake. boom, I've said I it three times. Mistake. I've never been to a middle of a card. So keep you, keep it quiet, card. Leon. Keep it quiet. Oh, That's coming up very know. shortly. The uh, second guess what it is is coming up very shortly. I'm going to have to have a look in a minute what a Miller and Carter... I'm going to have a look Miller and Carter? Miller and Carter, for God's sake. Who remembers a Bernie Inn? Yes. Remember that? Before all these harvesters and... Uh, harvesters all the... is nice. Yeah, but you had to go... What did I say? Miller you, you, and what? Carter? You finish a Bernie Inn shell with a Bernie Inn coffee, yeah, with the cream floating on the top in a, in a, in a like a decanter of sherry glass like that. Yeah? Shell, do you remember them? That's how you know you've made it when you can have a Bernie in coffee. Let's have a look at the menu. Yeah? Find it and let's have a look at the menu. Mark says, Martin, can I email something for guess what it is? Uh, it'll make it difficult for this crazy lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. by all means, send me... if Because it takes me ages to try and work out some stuff. Now, this thing... In fact, I'm going to do it now. Leon, you're in the house. Do not put it in the comment section. <laughs> right? Where is it? <laughs> Don't put it in the comment section. And I'm going to want the exact thing. I'm, I'm not going to show you a little bit of this. I'm going to show you the whole thing, right, what it is. Because I don't think you'll get it. I don't think you'll get it. Where is it? Hold on. Let's have a look here. Oh my God. Right, you ready? Here it comes. I'm going to show you two pictures of it from different angles. And I want you to tell us what you think it is. That's the first picture. That is the whole thing, what it is. And there's a second picture. Now, let's see all the comments come in, shall? There we go. I'm going to give you a good look at that. No, it could be a fishing reel. That's a good guess, Snobby. Pulley remover. Hmm, interesting. There's only one bloke that I know who knows what that is, and that's the bloke who sent it in. You think that's easy, Leon? Oh, hold up a minute. Someone's very near. Clock. From an old clock. Oh, it's over my head now. Look. You can just slide that. Oh, I don't... Oh, God, come on. This... This... I'll tell you what. Dave, 1976, says, it's something to do with a clock. I can't, I can't accept it. <laughs> I can't accept it, shall It's not a clock mechanism. It's not a clock mechanism. You're not far off it. Clock flywheel removal. That's a good guess as well. Clock gear remover. <sighs> you see, this is, this is, uh, this is very difficult, shall This is very difficult. I'm in a bit. I'm in a bit of a dilemma here now, Shia. Are you watching these, Shia? Yeah, it's too hard. <sighs> too hard for me to pick. <laughs> what, what's that one there? No, see, it's, it's it's quite a few people coming up with some things that are very near. I've got to be a bit strict with you. I'll give you. It's something to do with a. a, a no. Well, hey. Eh? That one. Up again. Up. Go uh, up there. That one. You're very near. Some of you are very near. Whoa. It's nothing to do with a clock. Right? It's nothing to do with a clock. It's uh, something smaller than the clock. So you didn't put it in there and send it in? Yeah, of course he has, Sharon. So if you see somebody and we don't have the correct answer... They're very near, though, Leon. Please let us know. They're very near. I think I've frozen. Look, they're very near. No, look, they're very near, Sharon. No, it's moving again, my computer now. Some of you are very near. It's not to do with pulling the hands off of a clock. 
right? That's all I'll say. It's something to do, not with a clock. Right? That's all I'll say. It's not for removing anything off of a clock. Or what? Uh, watch. Yeah? You're very near. I'm going to need to get the... I'm going to need to get the right definition because a lot of you are so near. And it's, yet so far. It's not for taking the hands off of a watch. It's not for holding the... Pulling the pulley... Or, uh, what's it called, yeah? The winder off of a watch. Oh. Oh. It's so near. You're so near. No, ah, it's got... It's Wenru. Yeah, Wenru. Yeah. Got it. Wenru has got it. When root has got it, shall? When root, it is a watch movement holder. Yeah, when root has put it down already, he's got a watch holder. I'm going to accept that. And it comes from 1890 was the year. Right? See, so, so many of you were so near, but what I was looking for was a watch holder. Right? Now, Leon, he said to me, no one will get that. He said it's an 1890 watch movement holder. Watch holder is fine. It's obviously when they're doing work on it, I would imagine. They they hold it and then they start fiddling about a bit, shall I would imagine. Yeah? Oh. Look at it. Now, I'd never get that. But I know someone who did when root. Take their back off their watch to have a look, Donald. <laughs> hey? Take their back off their watch. When root, oh, pardon me. There you go, buddy. You've won one. Limited edition. Very limited edition. Put your name and address down there for us. I think you have won something before. Might, might be wrong. But put it down there. And also put your name on there and your YouTube name as well. Because we get, I say, so many emails where we don't know who you are. And I have to try and guess by looking at your, your email address sometimes. And sometimes you can't do that. So you've won that. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Is in here? A Ben Maltas, you gave us last week money for a calendar. I don't know if you're here today, but you haven't sent us your address. Yeah, no, he might not be here, Shell. You're the only person from last week. Yeah, he, I don't think he's there, Shell. Ben Maltas? Yeah. I don't think he's there. Absolutely fantastic. So just can you can you people tell me if you can, can you read that when I put it up on the screen like that? Is that all right when, when I'm doing that, that you can actually see? Because I'm, I'm going to put that up normally when people have a super chat so they can see their name up there rather than uh, we just have a guess. Is that readable? Can they read that, Shell? Can you read it? Because I can't see it. I need glasses, Shell. Oh, I'm not going down that road again. <laughs> Edward Thomas can't see it, Shell. Are you Joe? Big Joe's in your house. You're a little bit late, Joe. Hi, Martin and Shan. Big Joe. Oh, he loved the lamp we done, Shan. Fantastic, wasn't it? Oh, we're on a 65-inch TV at the oh, moment. Oh, lovely. That's fantastic. Quality. we got a 65-inch TV. Size, it? Yeah. It's fantastic, Shan, isn't it? Yeah. They've oh, come yeah. down in price, I've noticed, Shan. The 49 or 50-inch ones, you can pick them up for about 3 dollars now. Miles got free 3D printers. Say that again. Free 3D printers he's got. Free 3D printer, Sharon. Mm. Yeah, as I say, normally a lot of people, Terry, Terry Atkinson says, uh, the text is fine on the big screen TV. Well, that's good. I didn't oh, even... that's right. Yeah, it's on top chat, not on live chat. On the Yeah, I know. I've tried changing that, Sharon. I can't change it. It just stays on top chat. Oh. I don't know what the difference is, mind you, but um, I've never seen a difference with top chat and live chat. Because everyone is in the comment section. Does it? I think it only picks out the, the, the ones where people comment in regular... On a regular basis? I don't know. You tell I'm me. It's going up it now and it's identical each side. It is identical. Yeah. And I can actually see it scrolling up at the same time, Shell. So I don't know the difference between top and live. We always put it on live chat. But uh, that says top chat up there. Yeah, I've tried to change that, but I, 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 I couldn't do it. I don't know why. It's all this software, as I say. Uh, a lot of people use the StreamYard software when they're doing uh, their live streams. Apparently, they're changing it where you've got to monetize. They, not monetize it. You've got to pay for it now. Or you will do after a certain date. But I think you get so many hours, uh, still 20 hours a month, I think, where you can still use it for free up to 20 hours a month. 
Somebody's asking, can you run a lawnmower and something instead of petrol? Briggs and Stratton, if you ever watch a, a YouTube channel called Project Farm, have a look on there. He does loads of tests with YouTube mowers. YouTube mowers, Sharon. With uh, Briggs and Stratton engines. And he runs them on absolutely anything. He's run, he's run them on vegetable oil. He's run them on WD-40. He's run them on thinners. He's run them on all sorts of things. Uh, that's um, that's not my featured channel, by the way. Shall? Shall? No. But that's Project Farm. Ch check him out. Yeah, they will run on anything, them little Briggs and Stratton engines. Even stale petrol. A lot of people go on about, oh, it won't start because of stale petrol. Yeah, hello, Bright Tech 09's in the house. Oi, oi, buddy. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 shall. Remember we do that? Oi, oi, Savaloy. People used to say shall, didn't they? Yeah? Yeah. You love a Savaloy baby, don't you? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, Sharon. Right, what have I got here, shall? So thank you very much, Leon, for sending in that, uh, guess what it is. He actually phoned me up yesterday, shall. And told me about that, yeah. Oh my God, shall, shall. Look at that coming, baby. Look. Why, hello. Super chat alert. Thank you very much. Superb. The Smurf Carper. Your sticker will be on its way. You've won one of them, my friend. Well, not one one. But that's our little token of gratitude for Hi. giving us a little super chat. We'll stick that hey, in the post, yeah. Just put your email down there, bud. There it is, there, isn't it? There. There. That's where it is. There, look. It's going behind, my hand's going behind the black bar, Sharon. What black bar? That black bar, look. Yeah? Let's put me on full screen again. There we go. That black bar that was there. What's he doing on your lap, Sharon? If I said hi to Barney, yeah. bubbles. Yeah, I don't think we've suffered too much, Shell, right? By going on two hours later. Twins? Oh my goodness! Twins? When are they due? Oh my oh, god! Oh, you won't have time to watch this when them twins come along. Here, shall mixed marriage is just all the Chinese for tonight. That's not. We we Gary. can't eat it. Morning, Gary. We can't eat it. Gary Butler's in the house, my boy. Look. Okay, boy. Yeah, look at that. Here we go. Look. Oh, it's Big Joe, Sharon. Look, shall. Oh, Big Joe. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, my friend from the Super Chat. I love you, baby. <coughs> oh, I know Barney's sticker. Thank you, Big Joe. Fantastic. Lovely, Have jubbly. Have you got a sticker? Is it a pen you require? Yeah, shout. He says, Have this towards that lovely shell lamp I've done. Did I, I've got the pictures on here. Look at that. Where it is, is it? Lovely. Where is I it, Shell? Where is it, baby? I don't know. Anyone who hasn't seen it, my oil can conversion, as I said, I've done there. Look, and that's what. Look at it. Look at that baby. What I turned it into. Look. I could actually. Oh, look at that, Shell. Look, look at that dripping oil. I've not seen no one else do that, Sharon, on you on eBay or YouTube. Sorry, no one else has done that little dripping oil thing coming out of the tap. Look, out of the spout. Look, they normally put the bulb coming out of the spout there, Sharon, didn't they? Hey. Yeah. But not me, baby. I'm creative. Come on, Smurf <laughs> Carper. When are your twins due? <laughs> Superb. Cheers, Joe. Thanks for that, buddy. Yes, yeah, so if you let us know, pen or sticker. Who for? Will you send us your address, Joe? Yeah, Joe. You can have a, uh, either a sticker for five ninety nine, or you can have one about. Oh, you can't see that. I don't think, can you? It won't zoom in. I don't think. No, it won't zoom in. It says Retro Restore YouTube channel, and what a silky oh, writer. Okay. Oh, she's got a bit big then, isn't she? For June, February. Oh. Put your name and address down there, Joe. Oh, oh Sharon, look. Look what just come up, Sharon. Shall. Why, hello. Super chat alert. Thank oh. you very much. Two coming, baby. Let's have a bit of that one. Yeah, thank you, my friend from the super chat. What a book I love you, baby. Where's the sticker, Shell? Why are you giving away Mick Morris? Hey? Give away mixed mowers, one. They're not worth anything, shall? Uh, <laughs> there you go, chaps. Mark Jones and Lulu from Jessica and Harley. Oh, we're being Cyprus when you yes, yeah. little baby. Put your names and addresses in the email down there, if you don't mind, dance. folks. Look. 
And we'll put one of them each for you in the post. That's fantastic. The snobby scrap picker dance. The the finger bus is coming. Oh, he da, won da, 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 on da, da. <laughs> hey? He won bingo on Sunday, Joe, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I could just say that Mick, our pens are that better than my brother's. Mick says it's unbelievable, Shell. Mick, that's what happens when you've got decent stickers, mate. <laughs> hey? All the best, look at that, look. I'm drinking out of my free gift, look. Shell? Cheers, Shell. Look. Oh, you drunk yours? Why well, I drank mine? I, thought I had coffee. Coffee with cream. Oh, that's superb. Superb. I love cold tea. <laughs> right, let's have a little look in the comment section. I know you've got it on the screen oh, there. I'm probably not here because you gave me such a hard time last Shout week. Shout up. Listen, baby. I haven't given Roy a hard time. Last week. Hey? That picture. Someone in the chat carried it on. Someone not too far away... Uh, called Mix Mower Show and carried it on. Mark Jones, don't you want your sticker? Do you want a pen instead? <laughs> Who's that show? Mark Jones says he can donate his sticker. If he hasn't got a, a pen, does he want a pen instead? Oh, Sharon, Sharon. Oh, you got to do your dance for Marky Sharon. Mark. Why? Oh, God, Sharon. <sighs> yeah, thank you, my friend from the Super Chat. I love you, baby. Get up, Watson. Yeah, you got to get back, baby. Can you see me, baby? Right? Back in the disco. Oh, the dog's in the way, Shell. You ready? Thumbs up for his dancing. Come on, go back. Look, the dog's here. Look. The bop. Oh, I'll do the, what, the, the one I invented. Right? Not your body dance. No, the twerky bop. We've got the bop. I'll do it slow, first of all. Look. You've got to move your arms about like that. Look, you've got to be fluid with it, look. Yeah? Fluid, look. And then you twerk it, look. You know. Keep your legs going. Keep your legs going. And sometimes, if it was a northern soul, you'd do a spin. Yeah? There you go. Whew. <sighs> See what I mean? How about that? I'll give myself a super chat for that, shall? Oh. Mark Jones, I've got lost there. What did you want me to do? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Mick, I bet you can't bop. <laughs> under the oh, moon. You want me to give the sticker to my brother? My, my catfield says, under the moon love. That's one of the dances I used to do to bop too. Back in about 1977, something like that. Oh my god, Ian Days. Why, hello. Super chat alert. Oh, he's. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Ian, have you got a sticker? Have you got a sticker? I know some of you who leave the super chats already have the sticker. If you want a pen, let us know in the comment section and we can always ship you the pen if you've got a sticker. Let us know. Let us know. Dirt Rider, you got to do oh, it. How you put your dress up there? Everyone can see it. Hey? He's put his address up there. Who has? Mark Jones, and I can't, I can't copy it. Hey? Just hide it then, baby. Hang on, let me get it before it gets hidden. Don't remove, just remove the comment. We just remove your comment, no, Mark. No, I didn't get it. Well, it's all right. You can email it, baby. you got to be on the ball here, girl. You've got 12 seconds to sort it out before the public see it, shall. Oh. <laughs> yeah? Right, what's going on here? Let's have a look. There's a bit of laughing going on here. I hope they're not laughing at my breaking dancing, Sharon. Out and out. Hi, guys. It would be lovely to get a shout out. Out. A shout out and out. How about that? Is that right? <laughs> We've got 150 in the room, people. Ian Days, what did you want? Pen or sticker? Pen or sticker. Okay. Oh, hold on. Mondo Dafter's brush here says, got one of those Audi welding masks reduced to sixteen ninety nine. I need a new one, actually. I'll have to go down and have a look at them. Uh, they was about 25... Yeah, that's Audi, not Lidl. Yeah, and? You don't like Audi, Daniel. Our, our Audi, I think. Sharon, it's it's Black, nice. is that for Black Friday, though, was it? Or is that now finished, Sharon? I don't know. 
I don't know, you just... Oh, they've, had, they've got an online shop, though, haven't they? Barbara says that weren't twerking. No, Barbara, that was what you call a twerky bop. I've combined the two genres together. Yeah, that's what I've done there. Yeah, they're coming out with all the comments. Who taught you how to dance shaking, Stephen, Sharon? Look, Sharon. Oh, my God, hey, Sharon. Marky Mark, Sharon, hold what on. did you want? Sharon. Yeah, thank you, my friend from the Super Chat. Jason, I you? love you, baby. Oh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Mortimer. Why, hello. Super chat alert. Thank you very much. Hey, fantastic, you two. Fantastic. Has he got a sticker? You're going to get a sticker anyway. The pair here, Jason and Jeff, put your emails no, down Jason there. Jason wants a pen. No, that's what? a different Jason, Sharon. Oh, oh he wants a pen. Wants Sorry. Pen. Put a pen there. Jeff, put, put your name down and address in that email there, buddy. And I'll stick you off one of them stickers as well, my friend. And what are you asked in there? Thanks for all your advice. Can I powder coat the Suffolk exhaust? No, no exhaust. I normally use heat-treated paint for them. Uh, they go up to about 600 degrees C. I can't actually look at the emails. They go to Martin, not to me, about on his computer. Jeffrey Mortimer there, as you can see, was... Um, uh, that was Jeff's first attempt at his powder coating there. Look, he's popped up in the chat now. Uh, I know he's not, not seen Jeff before. That's him who's just given us the uh, £5 super chat. And that was his first attempt there, as we looked at earlier on. I don't know whether you saw that or not, Jeff. We've actually shown your what your um, your first attempt there. And there's nothing wrong with that at all, Jeff. As Sharon said, that looks very Christmassy, actually. And I take it you're talking about the uh, exhaust is for them lawnmowers there, maybe. I'm not too sure. John Wright, what a good man, driving a 12-hour round trip to watch football. Mm -hmm. Wow. I would just, I normally paint them black or silver, depending on what, what model it is, basically. That's what I normally do, so, uh, yeah, that's great. John Wright, oh, you, you just read that, Sharon, haven't you? Oh, it's drove for his partner, isn't it? A partner's boy, for his partner's boy. What? 12 hour round trip to watch football. Mike Atf Atfield says there's a new little in sporting, Sharon. We was there, we was at, um, uh, where was we, Sharon? Springfield. Springfield, yeah. Springfield the other day. Uh, that's all Christmassy there. John Paris is. Are you sure that voice isn't shut that door? <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, mixed sprays. I'll just spray them. Whether or not it stays on, I don't know. But it just makes them look tidier for sale or whatever, or if you're showing them or whatever. But yeah, don't put normal paint or even powder coating only goes up to about 180 degrees C. You can imagine an exhaust will be double that, even maybe treble that. So um, it's not worth spraying it. And it goes all plasticky when you touch it, when it's, um, when it's not cured or when it's... Uh, in its liquid form, so I wouldn't bother doing it. Uh, Mark A says, email sent Martin for guess what? Oh, you sent me a couple. Nice one. Cheers, buddy. Oh, $100 from Springfield. Well, why don't we see that then, Sharon? Because we weren't driving. We was like, who's actually <laughs> on a time limit? Tur t Tanya. Yes, you have, Mr. Twerky Bop Tanya. You had your own personal one last week. Private dancer. <laughs> I could be private dancer, Sharon. Yeah? Because no, I'm dancing for money, aren't I? Eh? Well, you haven't done much dancing, have you? What have you earned? Eh? No, no, no. Oh, Shao, look. No. Look, Shao, look. Sorry, Marky Mark. <sighs> You'll get a pen in the... <laughs> yeah, thank you, my friend from the Super Chat. I love you, baby. I don't know. If Thank that, you, what, Mark I, Jones. I don't know what else I can do, shall. Do a handstand. I can't do a handstand, baby. Them days are long gone. Pole dance. Pole dance. Pooler dance. <laughs> what can I do, baby? The bus has gone in your place that we can't see his head. Do you want to do the talk show, baby? Watch that weather go. What, girls are loud? Oh, for goodness sake. Have a dance with Tyson. Eh? Have a dance with... Somebody said moonwalk. Michael Jackson? <laughs> moonwalk like Michael Jackson? Some might have a Fight the boxer. Can you moonwalk, Cher? No, I can't. Oh, let's have a go, look. Oh. 
<laughs> this is what I do for money. Call me Baba. This is our job. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't believe it. Call me Bubbles. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can't believe it. <sighs> Shan, what have you put in Martin's tea? Nothing. Mine's oh. empty. It's empty. Look. In our new snobby and dusty glasses we got. Look. Hey. Oh, shall go on. Look, fill him up, shall. Come on, yes, shall. Mine's getting his hair cut soon. It's a bit long, isn't it? It's a bit long, and I'm not. It's a bit grey. Look, look. Hey, I'm an old man now. I have to start putting that powder on the top, and I. I've got to remember, shall. I'm an old man. Hey, I'm in. I'm in the um. What are they called? Not in the prime. They? <laughs> prime. My prime finished long time ago, baby. Why is the monkey presenting now? <laughs> Come on, Leon. Which hair is getting cut? <laughs> Why is the monkey presenting? There's no blinking monkey presenting, mate. Bloody Hitler. <laughs> hey? They're handy things, yeah, are they? What? Yeah. Look. What? That's for my little GoPro, that is. The the mic. Here, Leon, you just spent the blinking fortune, mate, on camera gear, haven't you? God. He done a video on a Budget and Leggett's channel. He's upgraded all his uh, camera equipment. I still equipment. have that stuff that we put on his head in the bedroom, believe it or not, we're done with Tracy. That was comical. Where was that shoulder? Leon. Yeah, Blakey. Your sound, right, listen. You should have got one of them. That's the Rode Wireless Go, right? My grandson can floss. That thing, it's a Rode Wireless Go. That's the transmitter that goes on top of your camera. I use it on my GoPro. And then... You've got the receiver. No, sorry, that's the receiver. And this is the transmitter, right? And that you just plug a little tie clip microphone on, put that in your pocket wirelessly, and then put that out there. I have it under my jumper. I don't even have that on show, right? I put that under my jumper, and it, it's, you can hear it through your jumper absolutely perfectly. And the quality of the sound is absolutely fantastic. You're not, you're not tied with any wires. It goes directly to your, your... Well, I'll turn it on. Let me show you. I'll turn it on. I turn it on. You hold it in for three seconds. It comes up. All right. Let me turn the other one on. Then you would turn the the uh, transmitter on with the. Let me turn that on. Look. Two blue lights come on. One to show you it's got power. This is the one that goes in your pocket wirelessly, all wireless. And the other one shows the uh, powers. The powers on. The other one shows it's it's paired up to the actual main transmitter. Now, if you can probably see. Hold on. Let's get out the right way. Can you see that? I'm talking into the microphone now. Look, it's not even connected to my phone. Let's go that way, sorry, look. Not my phone, my camera. I'm talking in, you can see the, the, the bar thing on it. And the sound from that, I have that clipped under my jumper and you can't even see it. And that is absolutely fantastic. Look, totally wireless, look, there's no wires on it, apart from plugged into my camera. But you'd do the same with your camera if you just plug it in. But that's the Rode Wireless Go and it's about 170 pounds. It might be even cheaper, I don't know. And the battery lasts for about two hours. So you've got a battery built in on that. You've got a battery on that built in. And all you do is you plug them in to a little USB connector. And that charges them up. And they'll last for way too hours. I've, not, I've only charged them up twice since I've had them. And they're fantastic. Look, that would be under my jumper, the little microphone. And you're not connected with wires. And like what you was talking about, I used to do. I used to have a Zoom. Where is it? You've got the later zoom, but I use the little zoom H1, like that, right? That's what I used to use. Again, with a mic clipped on, but then you had to marry it all up in the software, the editing software. But I don't even use that anymore. I've got two of them, plus I've got a Tascam one. Like that's the... only sounds gone off, or are they taking the mickey? They're taking the mickey, Sharon. Oh, I can see here that my sound's on. Look, I've got the bar graph there, oh, Sharon. Notice. Don't fall for it, Sharon. Yeah, so that's the wireless, Rode Wireless Go. Absolutely fantastic. Such a simple piece of kit, and the quality is fantastic. So you have that on your camera, which will be, I don't know, wherever you've got it situated. This will be in your pocket. No connection between that and that, only wireless. You'll have your little clip-on mic, but also, you don't have to use a clip-on mic. I'll pull that out. I've taken that out now, 
and you can just clip that on your top somewhere maybe or on your collar up there bit there or have it standing on the car or whatever and as you can probably see now I'm just working off of the microphone built into that and hey you go, look see I'm talking and it's coming out fine and the bar is going up very well as you can see there and it's very good quality absolutely fantastic and that was what I was putting on the top for the wind um, they clip on there somehow that comes with it a bit fiddly that does clip in there so it's got a little windshield on there as well so that's the actual microphone as well fantastic bit of kit a Rode Wireless Go there you go they're fantastic just turn that off save the battery so that's all I use now I've been looking for a decent wireless mic for years and then they come out with that one this year or last year and as I say, I, I swear by it because the quality of the audio, Don't swear. eh? Don't swear. <laughs> the quality of the audio is actually really deep and bassy, you know. So I know you was after decent microphones, and that's that's that was it. Yeah, well, I, I, you're saying that the problem is I need a shotgun direction and microphone. All the other microphones are stereo and pick up sound from everywhere when it bounces around my shed. When you've got that on, that is for a personal mic. If, that's why I use the um, one of them. Uh, where is it? There, one of them. And just put it there. Because that is purposely, literally, just for you. You will pick up slightly background stuff, but that's so much better than... Because it's right there. It's like when you're watching a, a broadcaster on TV and they've got their clip on mic. It's, they've all got their own ones because it picks up just right, basically just you, you know? So that's what I would have gone for if I was you, but... Um, you spent a lot of money, I know. I know you have. Oh, you reckon you used to use... not What, that one? You've used that one? I swear by it. I do, I swear by it. I won't swear, though. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, my... Leon's... Leon, I, I've never really noticed too much of a problem with your sound on your videos, Leon, to be honest with you. I've never really noticed too much of a problem. I know what it's like working in the garage and stuff, but uh, yeah, I've never really noticed a problem. <laughs> is, that, is that your hair, Martin? Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Some people, Sharon. Right, baby. I think... I think we've done everything. We've had a bit of fun. We've had a bit of a chat. We've seen some stuff. Let's have a little look through what we've actually seen today. That was... Oh, no. Did I, I haven't done that one, have I? I'll save that for another week. I'll save that for another week. Or should I? Should I do that? Right, we've done that. That was the uh, first guess what it is. And I think that took a while for you to get that. That was the tin opener there. That was the old-fashioned type tin opener. We've assassinated John's fridge. He, uh, he's not out of work. He's not a, a wino. He's uh, not a, a health freak. He don't work in Lidl or Asda, I don't think. So you got it totally wrong again, people. We've looked at uh, Park Nest uh, Daily Driver, which is his uh, Citroen, P Citroen Picasso, and also his second car, which is his uh, 318 BMW. We've had a little look at Peter Garland's um, Subaru. Very fast car, them, I would imagine. I've never been in one. Um, I know that I know they're, they're very rare. Um, you, you know, you've got to have a uh, look after them. You've got to spend a lot of money, and he has spent a lot of money on his ones. We've looked at Philip Cousins' uh, Mako 250 which he's had since 1985, I think he said. We've looked at my old oil can, which I done. I put up yesterday on my Retro Hatch channel there. As you can see, it was in a right old state, and I turned it into that by just using a little bit of ingenu in ingenuity and created that oil spurt effect with a coat hanger and some glue out of a glue gun, and then I just spray painted it black, and I think it looks quite effective. I've never seen it done before, and I was so happy with that. Oh, it's a C4 Grand Picasso. Sorry, I just noticed that. Uh, we've looked at uh, Mike's oven. That was uh, Mike uh, Baker's oven, which he made powder coating, very similar to the one I've got uh, out of a filing cabinet. And he give it his first go, and that's the sort of things he's producing with it already. That is as a beginner. So that's fantastic. Uh, Jeff's had a go as well of powder coating. He said he never would have done it before, and he was inspired by watching my videos and... That's his first attempt at powder coating, and I think you'll find that's great as well. Looks like a great little thing. And he's also bought a few old door mowers there uh, to restore as well. So, yeah, there we go. Absolutely fantastic there. 
Hope you've had a, uh, an enjoyable stream today. We've had about, about 150 people in. We've got 145 at the moment. We've been going for uh, 90, what's that, hour and 40 minutes, Sharon, haven't we? We normally do hour and 30 minutes, but we've had a bit of a laugh today as well. We've had some great uh, super chats. And don't forget, if, if those of you who left the super chat or you've won the Guess What It Is competitions, do put your name and, and address and your YouTube username as well so that we can relate all the two up. Um, we're going to be doing our live streams every Saturday now at 4 o'clock. We're moving forward from 2 o'clock. Um, Just so you can all do your Christmas shopping. No, not only that, chat gives people from the continent a bit of time. If they're in the US or Canada or whatever, they're not watching the stream early in the morning then, are they? Yeah? We've yeah. got to think of everyone, shall we? Europe don't matter because they're all over here. They're all only about an hour's difference time with us anyway. It's just that America's about, all, and Canada, they're, they're about five, six, eight hours uh, behind. Is it behind? Somebody's just asking how you're getting on with your impact wrench. They've been getting one. Yeah, it's great. It worked. I've not, I've not, not failed with it yet. So that's been a great tool. I'll be using it again. I'm nearly out on the, uh, the car again, the um, Signum. I'm going to do some more work on that this week. Uh, Jimmy's car's not, stre uh, not, not streaming. What am I saying? Jimmy's car's... Battery's going flat all the time in that, so he might have a problem with his alternator. I might have to look at that, but um, that, that I'll tell you about that later on anyway. So, no, it, the oil light is not for sale. I've claimed that. The what, Sharon? Me. My oil light. It's in the hall now. It's in the it's hallway. She's already nicked it. Got its place now. I thought I've had quite a few people say that they actually like that, Sharon. Uh, they like the look of it. Look at I that. I did say you should buy some of Look at that, look. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Well, we picked that oil can up for about four quid, shall didn't we? Five, I love five. Five, well... Every, well, every pound counts. I want five, actually, I was on. Oh, no. But if you go on Google Images and type in fuel can, light, you'll see that can there, right? And what they've done, people, they've put a, a, a candle bulb coming out of the spout. Well, I thought we'd just do something a bit different. And I, I looked for some tutorials on YouTube and there was nothing there. So I might even do a tutorial of that, doing that. Cause it's, I think other people, it's a great way of doing it. And you can just lift it out as well, shall can't you? Hey. Well done, Parkness. What's that? What you, you done, just baby? Gone past fifteen hundred subscribers. Fantastic as well, yeah. So don't forget. Oh, I'll tell you what I didn't do, Sharon. I'll tell you what I didn't do. My featured channel, baby. I put oh, that down there. What? I put it down there, you baby. You better do it because it's not fair. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna. I'm Come trying on to find now. it. Now, now, let's sit back down because we've got a featured channel. Hold on, Sharon. Where was it? Have I, have I put it in there? Have I put it? I don't think I'll put it in there, Sharon. No, I haven't put it in there. I've not put it in the software, folks. I'm sorry. I have not got it on here either. No, I can't. I'll have to leave it till next week. I'll have to keep you hanging on. <laughs> well, she got 1,500 subs. Yeah. And a video will be coming out tomorrow. So, yeah, don't forget, any of you who've got video uh, channels in the comment section there, uh, all you've got to do is hover your name over the person's name. You'll see three little dots appear on the right-hand side. You can click on that and go to their channel if you want to check them out as well. Anyway, thanks very much, everybody. I hope you've had a, a nice stream on this Saturday afternoon for us, or coming into the, the evening. And uh, we'll see you again next Saturday uh, at 4 p.m. UK time. And until then, goodbye. Bye for now.